Day number seven? No, eight. Eight. Sunday, isn't it? Day no, this is day nine. Day nine. Ten? I don't know. <laughs> it's very, very early. It's about 4.30 in the morning. We've, we woke up about two o'clock. Wow, we were, we were woken Well, we were woken up at about two o'clock with the group. We were, um, up, we were supposed to be getting up at, well, 4.30 to then leave at five, but the group that were sharing our dorm with us were up at two. Other ideas, yeah. Hopefully clipping their toenails and everything else, making a load of noise, shining head torches around. And uh, it's nice and clear, quite chilly, but nothing too cold. It's actually all right. It's quite nice, isn't it? Quite a nice temperature. Yeah. Um, we're just waiting for Cam, the boy in our group, and our guide, and then we're going to try and push for the summit, try and race up, try and beat a load of people there, hopefully get a good view in the morning. Looking forward to it, I might actually buzzing despite oh, the lack of sleep. This, yeah. This, yeah, so it should be fun. Should be good. Good. It should be good crack. And uh, the food's been good. Had some decent tagine. You reckon second best tagine? Uh, no, third best. Third best. Lunch yesterday was second best. Interesting. It's not bad though. Um, and breakfast was good because we, even though it was milk powder, it's still milk. So I was happy. No pistachio, <laughs> you're. No, no, that's a let down. I'm gonna miss that back in the UK. I'm sure we can find it somewhere. I'm, I'm gonna learn to make it. I'll do you a weekly drop if you want. Fair play. That's quite a commitment, that. But I rate that. Anyways, see you at the top. Despite waking so early and leaving at 4.30, we were one of the last groups to leave the refuge. We had to queue to traverse a stream using an icy snowy bridge that we were told by the guide would likely collapse in the afternoon. We were hoping though, having been one of the faster groups on the mountain the day before, that we'd be able to make a decent amount of overtakes to reach the top in time for sunrise. After about two and a bit hours of walking, we've climbed up from the refuge. The sun is rising. The moon is still up. The boys are down there. And the summit of Jebel Tukbal is just behind us. Absolutely buzzing. This is so epic. Woo. To be fair, it felt good. This part of the climb, I felt a bit, a bit meh before, but this part just felt absolutely epic. And uh, looking forward to trying to get time lapse of the sun rising, because it just is absolutely insane. The mountain, so beautiful. Not at all, you're smashing it. That was absolutely awesome. Look at this place. Thank you for organising. It's quarter seven. And we made it to the top. 4,200? Yeah, 4,167 metres, so pretty much 4,200 metres. We'll call it 40. Which is pretty epic. <laughs> the sun's, sun's rising. Over, say hello. The backdrop is crazy. Golden hours incoming. Yeah, wow. And we have done a big hoon to get here on time. Yeah, we absolutely legged it up. Sorry, I didn't really wait. 
Oh, no, it's class. It was How you feeling, cheap. Cameron? Yeah, feeling good, boys. Yeah. Feeling good. Smashed it. Especially right. with the cold as well. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're on like... fluttering. <laughs> We're on like 90% oxygen not anyway. We're on about 50. But and this... the puffers have got some proper use. Yeah, we've got some just being a bit chilly yeah. in the evening. No, it has been good to use some of the stuff I've been carrying. <laughs> <laughs> get my... My legs worth it. Oh. Sweet, so we're gonna chill at the top for a bit and then yeah, let's head down. chill. There's the other groups coming up. It's a bit chilly, eh? So, good. <laughs> That's like I just having a fag. <laughs> he's got, he's destroying his lungs, yet they're 10 times better than ours. Right, he's chilly, eh? So I'd give it a couple minutes and I would. One of the first few at the top, a bit chilly now. So we've chucked on all our layers and we're heading down to there, to Imlil. It's a bit of a way, but epic start to the day. Absolutely awesome. Ascending from the refuge now in glorious sunshine. Absolutely perfect day. Honestly, it all feels like a bit of a blur. These guys do not mess around. They uh, whiz up and whiz down. He's basically running all the way up and running all the way down. But um, absolutely epic morning. Watching the sunrise over Tugbal. Although, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't absolutely shattered. We <clears throat> got woken about two o'clock this morning 
by the first group leaving and then uh, didn't really get back to sleep um, and then left ate breakfast around 4 and left about 4.30 still we're only second group up even though we're probably one of the last to leave so we properly pushed for the summit but yeah now we're just heading back down to Imlil Bonjour. And then, gonna sleep in the van on the way home. Very tired. How do you keep your water nice and cool at the top of the mountain? After descending the mountain, our guide took us through the green back streets of Imlil, showing us intricate waterways that feed water to the village. We then stopped at one of the local restaurants for lunch, before jumping in the van to head back to Marrakesh, where we all fell fast asleep. When we arrived in Marrakesh, we headed out for a quick dinner before heading back to the hostel to get a good night's sleep. Oh, <laughs> 